All right, so while we're seeing the crypto market make a little bit of a move right now, and again, this video is recorded at seven o'clock, I don't know what everything's going to do by the time it hits to the level, uh, to the time of this posting. So know that this is recorded at seven, it's probably gonna be posted somewhere um, around 12, maybe one o'clock or something. So just to kind of preface this whole video, but we all know that the crypto market has been moving over the last 24 hours. I don't know how that shift is gonna go, but, all we know is right now, uh, we haven't seen a lot of things get heavily affected by it, but we've seen a couple of things make huge moves. And, you know, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's Ethereum, whether it's, you know, whatever, right? We understand that things are making moves, but when it comes to Terra Luna Classic, we're not really seeing that, that move we expected with how many, um, you know, holders, how many believers, how many followers that are um, in the position. We expect to see way more moves with some of these popular positions than we do with a lot of these other positions that are not as popular, right? So I wanted to get into this and talk about uh, these positions, um, talk about Terra Luna Classic, and just give you my perspective on why I believe that things are not moving for them versus moving for everything else. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. If you want more on Terra Luna Classic, you can follow me on Twitter. I have a bunch of posts that are over there on Terra Luna Classic, whether things are happening or, you know, I just want to come out and get uh, an opinion or, or something. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, as well as my other channels. If you want to subscribe to those, they show a different side of me. Um, some of them are cryptocurrency, some of the reactions, go ahead and check those out. And don't forget about my Patreon link that is in the description as well. Um, I think we're going to get a lot of good, good stuff out of that. Um, but anyways, let's talk about, um, the crypto market a little bit, right? In our last video, we talked about how the crypto market was up 7%, how Bitcoin's dominance is, you know, skyrocketing and we're seeing things that are moving. Things in the last 24 hours, we're seeing Aptos that's up by 50%, Optimism that's up by 35%, Decentraland that's up by 21%. So things are moving, right? Solana is up by a lot. But does that, uh, you know, transition or does that move to uh, popular positions like Shiba Inu and, um, you know, Terra Luna Classic? Well, we're not seeing a ton of movement with Shiba Inu. I mean, you're seeing about 7%. But if we scroll down here with uh, Terra Luna Classic, um, you know, we're not seeing much movement with Terra Luna Classic either. Over the last seven days, you know, we're up 2%. Um, over the last 24 hours, you're up 5%. So it's good to see green. It really is good to see green. We're just not seeing enough green compared to a lot of other things in the market, right? Terra Luna Classic is, in my opinion, more popular than a lot of things that are above it. The reason why is because it have a, has a lot of holders. It's community-led, so the community pushes it up forward, and we see a lot of uh, you know FOMO buying into it and continuing to level it up. Whatever level it's at, we understand that it can go a lot further. Um, but it hasn't been making any type of move. Um, well, not any type of move, but it hasn't been making a, a a crazy move lately. And I expect to see something big soon because it seems like it's just like a, a sleeping giant, like it's a volcano ready to erupt. It's like, you know, getting there, getting there, but no one knows when it's going to explode. And I think Terra Luna Classic is going to make that move. So I don't feel like people are ready for this to explode. And when it does, <clears throat> the FOMO is going to be like, nothing we've ever seen right or maybe something we've seen but uh nothing we've seen in the last year or maybe even year and a half uh, at that point um but if we go to terra luna classic we're currently at point zero 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 seventeen ninety four, up about five percent we saw this hit a high of about 18 18 3 um a low of about 17 so really, again, not a huge uh, shift, not a huge uh, amount of movement. You know, we're seeing other things that may not have the amount of popularity that are at a $2 billion market cap, while Terra Luna Classic is sitting here at a $1 billion market cap. And we know that this has a lot more potential. If you look at the volume, we haven't really seen a ton that picked up in volume. We're seeing 180 0.7 million dollars that's going through in volume this is up eight percent compared to a lot of other things that are out there right if i go and look at let's say um i don't know solana maybe uh, i would imagine their their volume let's just look at dogecoin dogecoin's volume is up 140 <clears throat> percent obviously it's up a hell of a lot so that's that's insane. You can probably see BNB's volume that's up more. It's up 83%. And that hasn't really moved in the last seven days. It's uh it's kind of uh down in the last seven days, but we're still seeing it up 
83% in volume. Cardano, let's look at that, 148% in volume. You can look at a, a lot of other things. Like we can just click on pretty much anything. You know, Solana up 235% in volume. So this is what we expect in these positions. However, you know, Terra Luna Classic, we're seeing an 8% increase in volume. So it's we're not seeing the levels that we want to see, but I think it's because we have a lot of people since it is community led. It's not something that's institution um, like institutionally invested into. So seeing firms and institutions that are investing into this position because maybe they don't see it as a sleeping giant. They see it as what it once was where it fell and crashed. So that's what I'm thinking is is really hovering around this is the the mindset that this is not really a, a position that institutions are investing into or businesses are investing into, big money is investing into. But us, you know, retail investors, people that see the potential for what it is, um, we we understand where this can go and how much of a sleeping giant this actually is, how much this will explode. Um, and uh, I'm excited to see this thing absolutely skyrocket. But in due time um once they figure out what this will be when it hits maybe a 1.5 trillion a billion dollar market cap they're gonna realize oh this actually is an investment let me go ahead and get into this and then big money and and institutions and firms are going to start to make their move into this position because they see where the potential is <clears throat> And then once we also establish a, a heavier use case, get back to a, a repeg state, uh, algorithmic, uh, algorithm back in place, all of those different things, we can see so much success there. So I don't think people are ready. I don't think people are ready for this to explode. I'm ready for it to explode. Um, I'm going to ask on Twitter uh, before I make my next video, are you ready for Terra Luna Classic to explode? It's not moving now, but I'm telling you, it's like, it's a sleeping giant here. That's that's the best way I can classify it. <clears throat> you know, I can't wait. I really, really can't wait. So anyways, um, that's where we stand. Uh, I know we are more focused on uh, utility right now. And we, we also want to focus on burns. We also want to focus on the fact that we can see uh, massive growth. So hopefully um, we can, you know, shift our focus a little bit and still focus on utility, but also focus on decreasing that supply. Because that's how we get to the levels that we want to get to. Um, but the levels that we will get to, obviously we want to get to a penny, but I think that's, that's going to come right. A $60 billion market cap that will come. And a lot of people will make a ton of money, but depending on if we make a ton of money versus a, a boatload of, of money, which one's more, I guess a ton depends how much you have in the boat. If it weighs more than a ton, then it's more than a ton of money, I guess. Anyways, uh, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, at Perry AK, you can follow me there. Don't forget about my Patreon. Again, I, I'm posting uh, different videos on my Patreon. If you guys want to go and check out, um, go and um, you know, join up and, and get a bunch of stuff. You know, I have my uh, spreadsheets here. I talked about uh, different positions here. I have a lot of different posts that I post on here, you know, whether I'm going all in on different positions. If you guys want to go and, you know, go ahead and check that out. Here it is you know, all of these different positions, whether I have live streams or, or anything, right? It's just, it's just fun to be able to create content. So if you want to go and uh, follow that, subscribe, the link is in the description, but I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.